2019 Volvo XC90. This is an R design. You can tell by the horizontal grille, but that's not what we're here for today. Today we're going to be going over something inside. It's going to be how to download the app to your car. So if you use such things such as Glimpse, um, Pandora, Spotify, you can download those apps to your car rather than referring back and forth to your phone. Now, if you want to follow me, we're going to jump in the driver's side and we'll take over. I have a sport key because I can't find any of the other keys. So the sport key is waterproof and heat resistant. Come on over. 2016 Volvo XC60. So we're going to switch gears here. We're going to go into the vehicle. We're going to show you how to download the apps. I'm going to put a little extra footage on the back end of this one. It's going to show you the XC90. The other vehicle, we were attempting to do the same thing, but it had already been done. So I was stifled there for a moment. But I'm going to take you into the XC60. One of the things I love to do is show you exactly the vehicle we're going to be going or using today as our prop. So this is a 2020 XC60 inscription front wheel drive T5. Always love to give you a shot of the dash so you'll know the tool I'll be working with. So let's go ahead and jump inside. All your safety features checked in green. That's just one little tad note there. So once inside the vehicle, once we're fired up, we're gonna go ahead and turn on our heated seat, by the way, it's kinda of chilly out there, as well as our heated wheel. So we're gonna to come to the center screen here. First thing you wanna do is fire up the car modem and make sure Wi-Fi is turned on. Now you don't have to be um, currently on a subscription with AT&T. You don't need that at all. All you have to do is make sure the modem is on and the internet is checked, internet box is checked and ready for service. So all you have to do, settings, I'm going to go right across the top here. Communications, modem internet. Make sure the box is checked here. So what that doing? that's doing is turning on the vehicle's modem, internet modem. Once that's turned on, you can go ahead and go back. So once it starts to cycle, you can go ahead and go back because it will connect. You want to go one up, Wi-Fi hotspot. So once you're there, doesn't matter about the network name nor password. The main thing you're focusing on here is just make sure the box is checked. So you've got the Wi-Fi hotspot turned on, engaged, and you've got the modem turned on. You can go ahead and back out. So we're going all the way to the center screen. You saw me using the back button. I can actually take a shortcut. The button here on the bottom with the white line, that's your reset or your back button. So we're going to go ahead and press that. From here, swipe right to left. See where it says download center? Now, you have the same thing. So if you have a 2016 Volvo XC90, 17 models, all the models that have been totally overhauled, totally redone, those are the models that are going to allow you to do this. Now, you can see new software updates available up top. Whenever your vehicle flashes that, you're always going to come to your download center. So we can go ahead and go into the download center. That's going to be your screen. Now, your towels. So if I was to go back here, first towel is always going to be navigation, media, telephone fourth towel actually changes so it's going now and it's actually showing that we're in the download center the reason why it's saying new updates so from here tap there system updates blank screen right well hold on my friend new apps now it's searching for all the new apps that are available for the vehicle so you can see each of them now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see them local search weather uh, recording sin is nice you can actually record notes while in the vehicle yep Spotify tuned in Pandora park and pay so you can see all of those that are available to be downloaded into the center screen or hard drive of the vehicle so once you do that I'll show you exactly what to do and we, I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna show you exactly the process as you've seen but I'm also gonna show you the time it takes to install so we're gonna go ahead and install the weather. Let's see. We're also gonna install Yelp. And for those of you that don't know, you can go to Yelp at any time and review any business whatsoever. Uh, Volvo ID, that's very important. Uh, park and pay. 
So all of those are in the process of installing now. You can see where it's cycling down. 10% uh, stalling for installing for your weather. So we're just gonna sit, let it go through its process. So you can see just how long the process takes when you are installing any of the additional apps. Now, if you wanted to do maps, you can come right across the top here, tap maps and depending on where you are. So if you're in Mexico, South Mexico, you can install the app just for that area. And as you travel, or if you know you're gonna be traveling like from Charlotte to New York, you can go ahead and download the New York app. So everything will be up to par. Just keep in mind, most of your apps are still about a year or two behind. So if you have a new neighborhood or whatsoever, so it may not pick up your area. Weather has been installed. So it's keeping you informed of what's going on at all times. Yep, installing. So let's go back. So if we go back, there's our new apps. Weather's already gone, so you can see it's off the screen here. Now, where do you find it once it's installed? You can see Yelp's installing. Pulls all those out. Swipe right to left. Look on the very bottom. There it is. Up top, you're going to have your media information. In the center, you're going to have your car information. On the very bottom, you're going to have the app you just installed along the bottom. Just in case you're wondering, what does weather look like? What's nice about this is it gives you the current weather where the uh, vehicle is located in the United States at the time or wherever you may be. I mean, even if you're in Russia, um, even of course they're in the news with us right now, but even if you're in Mexico, you can see exactly the temperature around the vehicle and it's still updating. It's still bringing over that information. So we're going to go ahead and go back and get out of that. Go back to our download center. New apps. That's what you're going to click on. And the reason why, now I'm going to give you a little footage on one I just did on the XC90. Uh, stifled me a bit because there were no apps showing as available. That was simply because all the apps had already been downloaded. And of course, if you follow at the end of that footage, I actually explain all the apps were downloaded. So if you go to system updates and you follow the steps that I just showed you, then if there's no apps present, that's simply because they've already been downloaded. Again, how do you know they've been downloaded? I'm gonna take you back, main screen, swipe right to left. There they are on the bottom of the screen. Now you may need to go up or swipe down or up for that, but there's Yelp already installed, weather already installed. Just click on Yelp while we're waiting on the other guys to install, Let's show you what that looks like. Let's go back to weather. Maybe that's up, installed fully now. Well, it's doing its thing. So I'm not going to hesitate here with you. I don't want to keep you too long from what you're doing. But uh, thank you for continuing to tune in. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, I'm going to give you two glimpses of what it looked like, of course, when they're already installed, which is going to follow this footage. And then, of course, when they're installing. And any highlight the car needs to tell you, um, park and pay as you can see everything's being installed here it's keeping me up to date with what's going on at the very top of the screen it's always going to show you that if there's new updates available if you're just doing normal driving after you've had the car for two or three years um, or if there's a message the vehicle needs to tell you um, or if there's a, a news bulletin I should say uh, definitely about weather advisories wind advisories it will tell you with the little flash of the blue column right across the top there as it's doing on these apps being installed so we're simply going to go back and now oh, there's Volvo ID so they're all coming along now and tune in continue to watch because I'm also going to show you what it looks like when they're already installed so you've just bought your Volvo XC90 and you want to download a couple apps you want park and pay so you want to be able to go to a Charlotte Panthers game and locate parking along with the pricing. One of the ways to do that, and you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and reset this, by the way. Bottom here, white line through it, that's your reset button or your back button, that takes you back. That's gonna be your main screen. So from your main screen, basically what you're gonna do here, settings at the very top, 
communications. What you want to make to uh, what you have to do is make sure that the internet modem is fired up. So you have to make sure the internet modem has been turned on and turn it on the Wi-Fi. Now you don't need AT&T service. So just because you're not uh, subscribing to AT&T for the Wi-Fi service, you don't need that anyway. The main thing you want to do is one internet modem. So it's already checked up top, turned on. I can go back out of that Wi-Fi hotspot. Going to go ahead and check the top here. All the stuff here, it doesn't matter what that says. You don't need any of it all. Just make sure the box is checked up top. So now I can go ahead and close this out. From your main screen, swipe right to left. And you can see download center here off to the right. So once you tap on that, system updates, new apps. There again, you can see my application, new apps, maps. So new apps, we're going to close that and install all so it's installed in software you can see where it's installing right up top here now I got to tell you I did miss a step there so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back and try to go back and see how to do that now Spotify is already downloading but we're gonna click we're gonna cancel that so now we're gonna go back to system updates right up top no updates available new apps maps ah look at that there's an upgrade for the map so we can come here tap install hit confirm and that simply shows you that it's working to go ahead and update that information to download you can see where it's downloading here let me show you exactly what that looks like so now on your main screen because the last thing we were controlling was your installing software that's automatically going to become your fourth towel along the bottom. If you attempt to go to navigation, it's going to come up and it's going to function like normal. So the fact that it's updating doesn't hinder, doesn't stop you from doing or navigating to an area. But we're going to go back because that's not what I am attempting to do. So if we go to the back here, swipe right to left, they've already got, well, there's a reason why we can't install them because they've already got all of them installed. So once all of them are installed, you're going to swipe right to left, scroll up, and they're all on the bottom of the vehicle there, uh, bottom of the main screen. So of course, you're going to have your car information right up top there, entertainment, and then along the bottom, those are all the apps that have been downloaded previously. So they've already been downloaded previously to this vehicle. Sorry, my methods of showing you how to do that were cut short. So I'm going to grab another vehicle and we'll walk through that and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Spotify, Winky Locations. So you can see all of this. All of those apps can be installed and stored, stored.